Hey guys, this is Kirk with a quick tip about comping vocals in Pro Tools. Check it out. I'm going to record a couple takes. One, 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 one. All right, that was great. Go to this arrow here. New. Creates a new playlist. Names it. Okay. Arm it. Two, 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 two. Fantastic. All right, let's do it again. New, names it, okay, arm it, three, 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 beautiful, all right, so now I want to put all these together into one take, one master take, so I can go here and I can view as playlists, so now I can see all these takes at a glance, let me create a new playlist, call it vocal comp, all right, now I can listen to these individually with the solo button. Three, 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 three. One, 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 one. Two, 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 two. You can move these takes around also, so I want to take this three, put them down here just for fun. All right, so now you could grab this, slice it, drag it up, but sometimes things get moved around, and so it's not always the best way. You can also highlight it a section and use this arrow pop it up but there's an even better way check this out so let's say I want to take this one you just highlight it control option V shoots it right up to the top let's take this two pop it up take this three pop it up and let's go back to this one at the end for fun all right so now we can listen to this finish comp track. One, two, three, one. Beautiful. So from there, you can go here, do your crossfades, any edits you need to do, go back to waveform view, and now you got your vocal comp. So it's pretty awesome. I love it. Hope it helps.